One of the tremendous powers of photography as a tool is to help bring awareness to the beauty of the planet and to hopefully inspire in people who desire to want to preserve and protect it. I've traveled through and photographed the American Southwest so many times and uh, every time I return it's just as exciting as the first. I mean I could spend a lifetime photographing these deserts and still not see everything that this beautiful and, and unique place has to offer. We flew into Las Vegas and we immediately drove east on our journey into the desert. Our first stop was a place called Horseshoe Bend, uh, which is sort of this horseshoe-shaped meander in the Colorado River. Uh, it's actually one of the most upstream parts of the Grand Canyon, and it, it's really quite something when you step up to the edge of this thousand-foot sheer cliff and look down. We're waiting for sunset. We've got our tripod set up in the perfect position right in the middle. You can see the river on both sides. Beautiful spot. I was perched along the edge with a whole bunch of other photographers all shooting sunset. And uh, after sunset happened, all these photographers immediately packed up their gear and they all hiked out. Uh, so I was left there for another 20 minutes or so, uh, just sitting around waiting. And all of a sudden this incredible moment happened when the sun from below the horizon illuminated the clouds overhead with this incredible array of colors. And I ended up capturing, you know, one of my favorite images from that. That's one thing about Horseshoe Bend, is uh, if there are a few clouds in the sky, your best light is after sunset. So it's worth waiting for. We set off on a day-long excursion to get uh, way up into Lower Antelope Canyon. Our goal was to kayak as far up into it as we could, and then get off and, and hike the rest of the way in. So you can go back as far as there's a cutoff, and it's only about an hour, maybe an hour, oh, 40 okay. minutes to an hour. Okay. And then it's Navajo land, and then you're supposed to have an Navajo permit. And Excellent. then after that, um, then eventually it would just get stuck because there's a law. Antelope Canyon is managed by the Navajo Nation, and it's really worth going in with a guide. You know, many people have died here over the years as a result of flash floods coming through unexpectedly. Uh, rain can fall miles and miles from the canyon, but eventually uh, a wall of rushing water is going to come through there. It could be completely dry here, but if it's raining down in another spot, all the water, since this isn't uh, it's rock, it all just starts rushing down into the canyon and it'll wash people out. We have actually a dive team on permanently here because so many bodies are found in the lake. Hopefully you won't find anyone today. Well, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to end up with a very expensive and full camera bag ending up at the bottom of Lake Powell. So hopefully this holds. Kayaking through Lower Antelope Canyon is just, it's one of the most incredible experiences. Lake Powell is a man-made reservoir that was formed as a result of the construction of the Glen Canyon Dam in 1963. And uh, this body of water, it also filled up many side canyons. And one of those canyons just happens to be one of the most unique and stunning uh, geological works of art found anywhere on the planet. So we, uh, we've reached land in Lower Antelope Canyon. Now we're going to uh, pack all the gear deep into the canyon and get ourselves into uh, a really cool spot of Lower Antelope. So at this point, we got off the kayaks and we hiked up into the canyon. Uh, a flood of water had come through recently, and which actually made the, the trek surprisingly difficult. So due to yesterday's flash flood that came through here, there is a ton of mud in the bottom of this canyon, so just hoping we don't run into any quicksand. Uh, at some points we were uh, wading through freezing cold waters, chest deep with all our gear. When shooting in Antelope Canyon, uh, there are some tricks to get uh, the best photos. For starters, use a tripod. That's number one. Um, you want to try to keep the sky out of your frame at all times. And uh, set your aperture really high, up around f11, f16, and then drop your shutter speed way down. Uh, if you want to have some fun with, with color, try uh, different settings with your white balance. You know, if you want to get to these deep, rich blues, you'll want to set to tungsten. If you want to get the nice warm tones, set to daylight. So 
So we have just arrived at the furthest point in Lower Antelope Canyon, and you can just imagine this wall of water coming rushing over there and swirling around in this cavern and then heading out. This is an amazing place. To the Navajo, entering Antelope Canyon is like entering a cathedral. Uh, they've been coming here for many generations, and it was for them, and it still is, a very spiritual experience. Antelope Canyon, uh, in my opinion, is, is just one of the most beautiful and peaceful places on the planet. Uh, it's been carved by years of erosion from sand and water rushing through and, and carving this canyon deeper and wider. Uh, this erosion has also created just these incredible shapes out of the walls uh, with the most amazing colors and striations. through the sand, burn my feet, right through my boots. Oh. On our last day of this epic adventure, uh, we hiked for four hours across the border from Utah into Arizona uh, to photograph a place called The Wave. Yeah, right here, this is a great spot for camera. Right here, look at this, look at this, this is amazing. This is one of the most incredible freaks of nature I've ever had the opportunity to witness or photograph. Uh, again, it's just created by years of erosion caused by rushing sand and water. Thankfully, the wave is, is a highly protected place that requires a permit to enter. You know, they're trying to minimize the amount of foot traffic that's in there, and that's a good thing, so it's important to respect. The amazing thing about photographing the American Southwest is that the changing light, the changing seasons, just all the little hidden gems scattered everywhere across this landscape uh, provides for endless shot opportunities. I mean, you can come back to these deserts over and over and capture something unique and beautiful each time. And on this particular journey, our time in this part of the American Southwest was actually just the beginning. So at the end of a long day of shooting, you gotta take some time for some fun. Woo! That's nice.